Merch available right now. Follow all social media platforms to stay updated on promos and more. What's up, what it do? It's your boy, Daddy Gamer, back with another game review. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the page. It helps the God out. Without further ado, let's get into Origami. So, initial release date, October 4th, 2016, developed by Lentz Works on all platforms such as PC, PS4, Nintendo, Switch, Xbox One, etc. So, what is Origami? Origami is a stealth action adventure game. You play as a spear known as an origami summoned by Yamako, a woman captured by the Kaiho, aka Light Warriors, who are attempting to rule the land. Throughout the game, you learn that there's a powerful mystic woman captured by the Kaiho that Yamako wants you to free, as well in claim that she's powerful enough to single-handedly wipe them out. By the end of the game, you find out that Yamako is this mystic woman that was captured, and once freed, you have to kill her because she's going to plunge the land into death and darkness. So, that's pretty much how Origami is, and that's pretty much how it goes. I thought the story was pretty dope. Uh, it was predictable. It was predictable, though. Like, before the halfway point of the game, I kind of knew that I was going to have to smoke Yamako, just for the simple fact that throughout the game, you have to collect talismans. And these talismans ended up being objects and belongings that belong to Yamako. So, you know, there are bells... The, there is there's actually a pair of like bells that you wrap around your wrist and then you can use them to draw enemies out and then you can get you can kill them get points all of that you know there was like a, another item there was a doll something like a stick you know just a lot of things that were her belongings at one point or another and every time you collected the talismans you went through a memory watched the memory of hers mainly hers throughout the game there you do get memories of other characters and other people but they're mainly her memories so you know that was just the one thing about the story was that it was predictable and you know it, i and once i figured that out i was just like oh man i didn't look at any you know storylines before i played the game or anything so i played it completely blind and figuring that out kind of took away you know some of the some of the hype I had for the game, you know, I liked it, this game. I saw, I liked what I saw, you know, and I finally got around to playing it, and here I am predicting it. So let's get on to the graphics. The graphics are a little cartoony. They're a little cartoony, you know, but they're still great. They're still, they still look cool. The the scenery was beautiful, you know. The water looked it dope. I liked it how they had everything. The lighting was okay. Like everything was kind of dark. You did nothing in the sun. You did everything at night. And you know, the scenery did look like a, a nighttime in Japan or even in China, even. You know, it's like nighttime. You have to scale uh, towers and just in and out of buildings, running through a city, running through the forest, bamboo everywhere. So it really had that vibe of of like a feudal China or Japan you know it had a real feudal essence to it so let's go ahead and get to the gameplay now the gameplay was where I was really surprised at because I didn't think I was going to run into this in this game Give, but given that this game did come out in, two, in 2016 I am going to cut some slack but not a lot so the thing about the gameplay for me was the combat approach so in origami you just don't have free range so you could do whatever string combinations and you can't do that this is completely stealth so yes origami 2 is coming out and i've seen the gameplay trailer of that and it seemed like they completely switched the, the uh, combat system and the combat style of the game so you no longer just stuck to the shadows and stuck to stealth completely 100 percent of the time you can you have the option to run up and get into a sword fight with a couple of the, with a couple enemies at a time which is really really dope and that's what i was kind of expecting in origami one that's what i was expecting here but i didn't get that so what that caused for me was 
Now, mind you, I wasn't playing this for a speed run. I was just casually playing. So what I came to find out was I was kind of feel like the game was getting dragged out in a sense because of the combat. I would only have so many abilities or powers unlocked at a time because throughout the chapter, in each area you get to, you have to find scrolls and the scrolls grant you points and you have like two or three tiers where you can uh, put these points into abilities and they'll get you through the game. So like there are points like kun for kunai that you can summon a shadow version of you. You had shadow traps. You know it was a like ledge killing. You had a lot of abilities that you could choose from, but because of how the combat system was, you know the game could seem like it was dragging a little bit based on what abilities you had at the time. So you know there are puzzles in the game. And there's just areas in the game where if you don't have certain abilities, you might have a harder time than if you did have an ability. So I'll say what hindered me was probably not having invisibility. I played the game and I didn't choose invisibility till pretty much close to the end. Once I got to the end is when I chose invisibility and yeah you know it, it helped out a lot and i was just like man i could have got here way faster two three four or five chapters ago if i would have just chosen invisibility it wasn't that many skill points so you know game like the the combat mechanic the approach in origami one it it can determine how long your play is you know on the story you know just with the story as a whole it, it'll determine that you know, like I said, for me, like I said, it just, you know, I could have completed this in a shorter amount of time if I would have just had, you know, a couple different abilities instead of what I've had. But, yeah, that's all I have for gameplay. And overall, um, overall, I rate this game a four out of five. It really, I, like I said, I'm, I'm if, like I said, and if I didn't say it, I was satisfied with this game. I was satisfied. I did have a good time playing this game. I enjoyed myself playing this game. Either way, even though the story was predictable, I did enjoy the story. Because at the end of the game, not only does Yamako die, but Arga Origami dies as well. Now, I don't know if Origami like, somehow just went somewhere and is resting. Or is there going to be another Origami in Origami 2? and we embark on a whole new journey so you know it's kind of a cliffhanger thing at the end here and you know i can't wait to see what's, what's next in origami 2 so but yeah i rate this a four out of five definitely play it uh, you know play it you know it's a, it's a pretty good game to pass the time and i think any and everybody would enjoy this game you know so with that being said if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe to the page to catch more video game content and the such. Until then, and next time, I'm going to catch y'all later. Go on.